Hello everyone. The topic we cover today epilepsy or seizure. The epilepsy or seizure one of the important disease condition under the central nervous system in medical surgical nursing. So let's discuss about the epilepsy or seizure. The seizure is a paroxysmal uncontrolled electrical discharge of neuron in the brain that interrupts the normal function that is called a seizure. So here we can see what are the main etiology and causes of seizure. The causes such as first we can see the genetic factors. So because the seizure is the inherited disease, so that is first etiology we can consider genetic factors. Second one is the brain injury, brain tumor, brain abscess, and uh, uh, cerebrovascular accident, congenital anomalies, uh, any metabolic disturbances. Uh, and this uh, intrauterine infections, these are all the etiology and causes of the seizure. So next we will see the classification of seizure. The seizure classified into mainly three. First one is the partial seizure, second one is the generalized seizure and third one is the unclassified seizure. So next we can discuss about the pathophysiology of seizure. The pathophysiology of seizure due to the etiological factor already we discussed the etiological factor that is the causes that will leads to the disturbance in the normal function of the brain and that will leads to the brain cell become overacting to produce the uh, sudden and uh, violent uh, abnormality uh, symptoms so that will leads that signal will be become abnormally so that will leads to the burst of electrical energy that will reach to the nearby central nervous system and the brain that will leads to the seizure so that is the pathophysiology of seizure or epilepsy so after the pathophysiology we will discuss about the clinical manifestation or signs and symptoms so here we'll be see what are the symptoms the person occurring during the seizure so here we have to discussing the symptoms sir. so before that you have to know the types sir. already we discussed the types sir. so as per the types sir, the symptoms will be developed so if the person have the partial seizure the partial seizure uh, you know that divide into two that is a simple partial seizure and a complex partial seizure if the person has a simple partial seizure we can see what are the symptoms will be appear the symptoms are convulsive jerking chewing motion lip uh, smacking and uh, flushing or uh, eye pupil become dilations these all the symptoms we can see in the simple partial seizure so the simple partial seizure that time patient become conscious only that is uh, they do not lose the consciousness and also this all the symptoms will be developed or then we can see the second type that is the complex partial seizure if the person have the complex partial seizure the symptoms are imbibed consciousness and uh, purposeless behavior aggressive behavior and uh, automatism that is uh, there is the picking out the clothes that is automatism uh, and also visual and auditory hallucination so these all the symptoms we can notice in the condition of the complex partial seizure and next we can see what are the symptoms if the person have the generalized seizure if the generalized seizure uh, first one is the absent seizure in the absent seizure there is a alteration of the consciousness lasting for the 10 to 30 seconds and also you can see the it is starting and loss of the postural tone okay sudden uh, loss of the postural tone tone so that we can see in the absence seizure symptoms or second one is the myoclonic seizure the myoclonic seizure the symptoms we can see the sudden involuntary jerking of the uh, facial limb or trunk muscles in arithmetic manner okay so next we can see the clonic seizure the clonic seizure types are sustained muscle contraction altering with the relaxation we can notice in this clonic uh, seizure types next we can see the tonic condition in the tonic condition the symptoms such as sustained muscle stiffening the muscle become very stiff in this condition of the tonic seizure 
and next we can see the tonic clonic seizure so in this uh, condition the patient uh, loss of uh, consciousness sudden loss of the consciousness and is the tonic stage you can see the patient become rigid and falls into the ground and is the uh, respiration become interrupted okay in the clonic stage you can see there is a rapid muscle jerking and muscle uh, flexibility and tongue biting and uh, confusion we can see in this condition of the clonic stage so the last one is the atonic seizure the atonic seizure here you can see the symptoms that uh, there is a sudden loss of conscious and fall down on the uh, ground so uh, this also atonic seizure also known as the drop attack mostly we can see in this atonic seizure in the children so this all the uh, symptoms we can see in the generalized seizure and last one is the unclassified seizure in this unclassified seizure while the patient having the jerky movement but the patient don't have any uh, conscious patient uh, conscious will be lost and also we can see the jerky movement so these all the symptoms according to the classifications so next we will be see the diagnostic evaluation for the seizure the diagnostic evaluation such as history collection physical examination mri ct scan and uh, uh, so eeg uh, and also pet test we can do in the diagnostic evaluation and after diagnostic evaluation we will go to the management so management firstly we can see the medical management so medical management firstly we have immediate treatment we have to needed to the patient so that here we have to firstly uh, clear the airway and provide the oxygen to the patient that means oxygen administration how to start initially and also we have to establish the uh, iv line and we have to admin, uh, we have to put the uh, iv line to the patient and it will help to the providing medication uh, uh, that is necessarily so next we can see what are the medication we can provide the medication such as tiazepam and lorazepam initial management initial treatment we can provide to the patient if it is a tiazepam and lorazepam is not uh, recover the patient that is not uh, unsuccessfully the treatment we can go for the barbiturate that is the uh, anesthetics drugs that will be uh, control the patients and uh, relax the patient so this uh, treatment we can provide to the patient and also we can see uh, next further uh, seizure we have to prevent for that we can provide the phenytoin and phenobarbital we can provide to the patient this all the pharmacological management we can given to the seizure patient and surgical management if the necessary if while we are taking collection, uh, history collection or diagnostic evaluation any abnormality if you are finding like a brain abscess brain injury brain tumor like that if is there we can go to the uh, go with the surgery also and this all the uh, medical and surgical management last one is the nursing management so nursing management here we have to assess the patient condition provide comfortable position to the patient administer medication as per the physician order and provide psychological support to the patient and family members and monitor the uh, vital signs closely and if any abnormality if you are finding should inform to the physician and uh, monitor the uh, uh, how to take patient intake and output chart how to monitor and also uh, should record all the uh, patient progress and uh, uh, inform to the uh, physician so this all the nursing management we can do the uh, in this conditions if the surgery is there we will provide the pre and post operative care so uh, this is the all topic about the seizure so today the class we discuss about the seizure seizure is also known as the epilepsy it is a inherited diseases it is uncontrolled electrical discharge of the neuron in the brain that interrupts the normal function that means the central nervous system and the brain will not uh, normal function is there is no so that's why it will be very uh, interrupt the patient's movement that jerky movement will be coming that condition is called a uh, seizure so hope you all understand the uh, seizure or epilepsy that's all for today classes this is nisha signing off till we meet the next class bye bye